Hey guys, last time I shared with you how to make a Serena Lily inspired pillow with napkins. This time I want to share with you how to make these two pillows that um, has a slightly different DIY process and also using invisible zippers that you can see here um, and I'm gonna show you how. This is still inspired by Serena Lily but maybe with a coastal feel by the color and the tassel details which I think is really fun. So these two pillows are made of pottery bar napkins, just like the other one. Um, so these two are actually 100% cotton, but the texture actually resembles pure linen, which I think is really nice. So in terms of the cost, I think for the two napkins, for the blue one, it costs around like $10. I think it's less than $10. And for this one, it's around $16 for um, two napkins. I use invisible zipper for this project. Invisible zipper is a type of zipper that has its teeth facing inward so that um, the closure is more hidden compared to a normal zipper. If you are interested in a normal zipper construction, you can check out the other video, but I think it's helpful to learn both and decide which one you like more. Okay, now let's get started. You can see that for both types of napkins, the hem is pretty narrow. So I kept them and used them as a finish edge inside of my pillow cover. My finished pillow cover is close to 20 by 20 inches. And I'll also link the napkins I used to make those pillows in the description below. Because both pillows use the same process and the blue pillow is more complicated due to the tassel details at the corners, so I'm using this blue pillow cover as an example in this video. I'm also using a matching color thread for sewing and to make the tassels. The first step is to install the invisible zipper. So I place the invisible zipper on top of the napkin with the right side facing each other. Keeping in mind that for invisible zippers, the teeth are on the wrong side and the side with the zipper pole is actually the right side. I used a zipper foot for sewing invisible zippers as it made my life easier, but this is optional. Then I just sewed very closely to the zipper teeth. The closer it is to the zipper teeth, the more invisible your zipper would be on the finished pillow cover. I have to say this is not the most traditional way to install an invisible zipper, but rather my simplified version because I'm usually not very patient to install them in the traditional way. And then I just follow the same process for the other side of the zipper and the napkin. After installing the zipper, it was time to sew the whole pillow cover together. But before that, I needed to make some tassels for the pillow corners, so I can sew everything together in one go. To make tassels, I wrap some thread around a small cardboard. You can decide how full your tassel is and wrap it accordingly. Then I pass some extra thread through the loops I just created and then tied it really well. Now I can cut the other end of the loops so that it forms a tassel shape. To create a little head of the tassel, I use another piece of thread to tie it about a quarter inch from the top. I left a small loop at the beginning so I can pull the end of the string into the loop and this will heighten the knot. And then I just pull the knot really tightly and trim the tassel to a desired length. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's time to construct the pillow cover. I pinned around the three other sides of the pillow cover with the right side facing each other and brought it to my sewing machine. I sewed the right inside the finished hem. Because I used napkins, there was no raw edges for me to finish after the construction, which is perfect. Before I reach each corner, I place two tassels inside with the tassel top facing the corner. Make sure to sew it slowly so that you can have a good control of the tassel position. I also tied together the tassel ties on the inside of the pillow cover so they are super secure. And this is what it looks like after I flip the right side out with cute tassels on the corner. If installing the tassel while sewing the pillow looks overwhelming to you, you can always attach the tassels afterwards. Just use a needle to pull each ties inside the pillow cover with a little space in between. Then you can tie them into a double knot. Now the pillow cover is done and it is time to try it out. I used a 20 by 20 pillow insert from IKEA and it fits perfectly. Also, you can check out my other video on DIY pillow that features different techniques which are also linked below. Well, thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding this DIY project, leave a comment below and I will see you next time. Bye!